Bobov up with the trouble. knee on that one very nicely. Bobov trying yeah, to sense the finish here and hammer Heinish away. Heinish is busted up. Look at the blood. Stop, stop, stop. That's going to do it. That's it. Dagestan keeps producing some of the greatest MMA fighters in the world, and UFC middleweight rising star Nasruddin Imavov is no exception. Today, we're taking a look at the life and career of this French Dagestani fighter. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA. Imavov was only nine years old when his family moved to Dagestan and the future fighter took up boxing. It wasn't until 10 years later that Imavov discovered MMA and moved to Paris with his brother. It was there that he started training at the MMA factory. Imavov would officially begin his professional career in 2016, racking up a record of eight wins and two losses. Imavov was on a five-fight win streak before he signed with the UFC. In one of those fights, he became the Thunderstrike Fight League welterweight champion. Imavov would make his UFC debut in 2020 against Jordan Williams at UFC on ESPN. Fernand Lopez in the corner as well, obviously the, the, the head coach of that gym, the master oh, line behind. Whoa, oh, oh, what happened? Down. Shot him for a takedown. Smart Can he finish move. this thing? Wow, he had an attempt here from Imavov. He's trying to roll through. He's trying to roll his back to the canvas to avoid that choke. Good job so far, but he's still under the neck. Oh, it's tight. He's being oh, he's it now. He's trouble. He's out. Oh, wow, wow. Toughness from Williams. I think Imavov wearing on Jordan Williams a little bit. Oh, he's Beautiful oh, punches oh, up against the fence. Williams covering up and swinging back. Man. And on a right from Imavov. We're seeing Williams really slow down now. There's no quit in this kid. You're going to see him keep fighting until he's out on his own feet. But he's going to stack him into the fence here. And Williams still holding on to that leg. I think he's got to bail on that leg, try to dig an underhook and bail on this guillotine. And now he's just. Yeah, you can see him trying to turn away from this choke. Imavov driving his hips into the fence, trying to oh, use the fence. There he goes, reinforcing it again. This is tighter. He's still got that under the neck. That's still in there. He's still got it. Wow. He's not letting go. Imavov is holding on to this choke. I don't know if it was a headbutt or an elbow. Oh, oh, big right from Imavov, and Williams swinging right back. Yeah, I didn't, I mean, I, I didn't see it either. I think he was asking credit. for an eye poke, nonetheless. Oh, 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 wow, Imavov showing some good movement, put together a combination. The Rising Star won this matchup via unanimous decision. Imavov would lose his first UFC matchup when he faced Phil Hawes at UFC Fight Night. Down. Former wrestler, as Michael mentioned, at Iowa State. Oh. Counter shot. Imavov was covering up. But he's got to get up the fence. The fence is oh, negative. Big knee. He's hurt. 20 this seconds to go. 20 seconds to go. Ah, uh, that clinch. Wait for it, though. Knee. Imavov with a big left. Who sizes his on Woozy legs with 10 seconds to go. Ten Another seconds. combination for Imavov. Wow, and Haas almost fell over and he fell into Imavov. I mean, and man. that will probably seal the victory. Imavov made that very exciting for the last 30 seconds. Imavov had a great showing of his talent, but he ended up with that loss by majority decision. From here, Imavov started bringing in the knockout victory, starting with Ian Heinish at UFC on ESPN. Oh, oh beautiful left. Bob oh, going in. I mean, he's just waiting for Heinish to load, and he's just firing a lightning strike. This dude can strike, man. He's got some great hands. Imavov has some hands on him, boy. It's over. There's that knee. Followed Heinish up with the trouble. knee on that one very nicely. Imavov trying to sense the finish here and hammer away. Heinish is busted up. Look at the blood. Stop, stop, stop. That's going to do it. That's it. Nasruddin won that matchup via TKO in round two. Imavov would then move on to face established UFC fighter Joaquin Buckley at another UFC fight night. And he's got a method to make Buckley play. Most significant blow so far, there's a good knee as well. 30! Yeah, finish it! That was a good attack, but a lot of energy used. Wow. To no avail, and now he's in full mount. Oh, 16 seconds to work. Now position for Imovov. Deafening inside the Accor Arena. A massive assault from Imovov. And as I said, oh. got a serious telling off from Mark Goddard. Well, these guys are throwing. They're swinging. They're both throwing. Unfortunately for Buckley, it's Imavov who's landing. He's landed the 
better shots. There's a clean takedown. Nasruddin would come out with the win by unanimous decision. Imavov was supposed to fight Kevin Gastelum back at UFC 273, but the matchup was canceled. Now we'll finally get to see these two middleweights battle it out on January 14th at UFC Fight Night. We can't wait to see if Nasruddin has what it takes to make it to the top. Who do you think will win, Imavov or Gastelum? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA.